What's up, y'all? It's Honey Hill here, and today I have the distinct pleasure of interviewing the Honorable Torin Clifton, aka LaDawn from The Big Leap. Torin, thank you so <laughs> much for coming out tonight. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. Yes. So I watched The Big Leap, and I love, love, love the show. Um, you brought so much life and love and just everything to the show, and I just wanted to ask you, what was it like playing the character of LaDawn? Uh, honestly, it was no different than being myself, which is the funniest thing. Um, I remember with the audition, they asked me to uh, first be a little catty, <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I don't think I'm the cattiest person, but it's so, it came so naturally. I was like, well, I think I learned something new about myself today, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it was fun. It was simple. It was, it was method acting <laughs> is what it was. Okay, so. for sure. Um, what was it like auditioning for the show? Like, could you tell me a little bit more about that? Um, the initial audition was simply being a dancer. So, you know, that was like any other dance audition. You go to the room, you submit your headshot and resume, you take a number, you learn the choreography, you present it. After that, there was a freestyle section or a show your special skill section uh, where I was able to dance in my heels which I only did because one of the other people auditioning told me to go get them. And I didn't bring them to the audition because I'm like, they're not gonna ask me to, to do that. So I had to first run to the studio where I left my heels only to find out the studio was locked. And then I came back and then I had to go across the street to buy a pair of heels to dance in for the audition. And then I had to actually dance in the heels. And then the world shut down after that. So then we didn't hear anything about it until the pilot. So what the hell? Okay, so <laughs> talk about a panic attack. I would have been panicking. I like... initially was panicking. I think I actually spent my last forty bucks on those heels. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, I just bought a little cheap pair of heels. I'm like, I just need to do something because she said you have to dance in your heels. They, it's on your resume. Why would you not bring them? Go get your heels and dance in your heels. And I said, okay. So that audition um, happened in December. Okay. Yeah, or November. We filmed that November, December of 2020. Mm -hmm. And then June of 2021, they sent me an email like, hey, we'd like for you to try to audition for this particular character, which was no dancing at all. That was actually acting. Mm. So. Okay, yeah, wow. That was different. Torn the actor. <laughs> okay. Just a little. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, wow. I just, I didn't even know that. You killed that, though. Like, when I saw you post that on Facebook, I was like... Torrance is killing it, and he's just bringing his own style. And I saw that you did that in the show. Like, one of my favorite scenes was the hotel party scene. Really? When you did your most famous <laughs> hair flip. I'm like, yes, Torrance! It's so funny. The hair flip followed me from the very first audition. I'm pretty sure I did that in my audition before the pilot. Obviously, I did it in the pilot. And um, sadly, nobody got to see that, but that was okay. I was like, you know what? It's okay. It'll just be a special moment that I had because even I was a little uncertain about that dance. But like you said, we are our own worst critics. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, but yeah, when they thought about the hero, they was like, Torn, you should go through the hallway, you know, and then you'll get to the bathroom. You'll have like a second moment. And we want you to just kind of like whip your hair in the mirror. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. You can do that well. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Okay, so I have a couple more questions I want to ask you. What was it like working with the cast and the House of Lush? Working with the cast of the House of Lush was very nice. I remember watching Comfort on So You Think when I was a kid. Never in a million years did I think I would actually be sitting next to her or, you know, acting or dancing, anything. I never thought that I would be next to her. And although I didn't meet Stanley until our very first day of rehearsal. Me and Stanley, I, I, I love Stanley so much. I just, he is a great person and he's very, <laughs> he's kind of like the, he, he's the earth part of me because my head is usually in the clouds. And so when we're talking, he'll be like, okay, I need you to come back down to reality because that's not a thing. <laughs> so I, I love Stanley and, and, and Comfort. They're both wonderful 
people. I miss them a lot, so Aww. hopefully I get to see them again soon. The chemistry was really amazing, though. It was authentic. It was, like, we really became friends, like, while the show was going on. So when they asked us to, you know, be this trio, it was an easy thing to do because we genuinely became friends during mm -hmm. the show. I can see that. It's like, it's almost like y'all almost knew each other. Like, that's how the chemistry was. Like, for anybody who watches the show and who knows about the House of Lush, okay? <laughs> y'all were always on point. Y'all were always vibing. And I could really see the chemistry there. It was just, it was nice. Who inspired you on the show? If you could pick anybody that you feel like was influential or it was just inspirational, if you could pick one person, who do you think that would possibly be? Um, it honestly is hard to say because everybody really inspired me in different ways. Um, I I remember having a personal conversation with uh, Sir Darius, who plays Reggie, and you know we just talked about next steps after the show. You know things that I could probably do to you know really keep my foot in this particular world because I during the film I was like I can't imagine going back to you know, the, the job I was working before this. And he was like, well, I mean, there's just some things you gotta do, some risks you have to take. And, you know, if you do it and you work for it, you'll get there. You know, it's just gonna be a lot of hard work. And, you know, of course there's um, Simone who plays Gabby and she is just a beautiful person. And I mean, it, it, I, I, can, I can talk about everybody, but I mean, I don't know. I guess everybody just kind of influenced me or, you know, they were all inspirational in their own ways. I'll take that too. I'll take that too. <laughs> so you said that you couldn't imagine going back to what you were doing. And I know Gabby felt that way mm -hmm. towards the end of the show. Like, do you, does that resonate with you a lot when it comes to Gabby's character? Um, It does. It does. Uh, since the show has ended, I have returned to my nine to five. And there have been a lot of hard days for me. Um, I wish that my life was more like Gabby's in the show where, you know, I simply said, I'm going to do this and this is going to be my life from now on. And I'm not going to, you know, step away without X, Y, and Z and that, that, that. Um, but that particular opportunity just wasn't at the door waiting for me. Um, so that's just going to take some hard work and some perseverance. And eventually I'll get there where I won't have to you know, sit at my computer desk and I don't think you're you know, gonna have to do that too much longer. I don't think I will either. You know, I'm putting it into the universe and I'm I'm hoping for the best and I'm really gonna work for what I want because now that I've had a taste of it and I know that I actually enjoy doing that part of that kind of work, I it's hard to imagine doing anything else. How did being on the set and being part of the big league like make you feel? Uh I didn't feel any different than I felt on a normal I think the only difference was, although it was work, it did not feel like work. I never felt like I was working. I just felt like I was there. And I was around good people and good energy. Like we could laugh and joke, you know, all up until the point where they call it action and all of a sudden we all just snap into what we're supposed to be doing. So, I mean, it never felt like work. I think that would be the best thing about being on set. <laughs> that tape, I was like, oh my god. Because I've had some moments where I just wanted to throw things at people. Like, just a few things that I've, I've uh, been able to choreograph for, and they just weren't getting it, or they weren't doing what I was telling them to do. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, let's do this again. I'm going to tell you what to do. And then they don't get it, and I'm just like, why? You know? Yeah, because so. you, you are an amazing choreographer. So for, for anybody who doesn't know who watches my channel, I learned how to dance in a heel because of him, okay? No, it's true. Like, <laughs> I have to credit my heels dancing to really you, Brandy, and Sierra, mostly. But you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I can imagine how you can identify with Monica's character being frustrated if somebody's not following your choreography, how you designed it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but definitely it was uh, Justin and Simon, who I love. I remember, oh, we were filming the season finale and uh, Justin came on stage to tell Simon how he felt. 
and I was literally crying <laughs> while we were filming. Oh my God. <laughs> and I, I remember going to ask uh, the director, I said, is it okay that I'm overly excited about Justin and Simon? He was like, no, you guys are perfect. I'm like, okay, great, because they did it once and I was crying. And you know, I, I just love it so much. Even when uh, Sidarius came out uh, to tell Simone, or Reggie came out to tell Gabby, you know, that he is he in love with her. Yeah. I was so captivated by Sir Darius. I'm like, girl, take him back. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> That's about coffee. You were like, she's a strong, independent woman. I was like, after he just said all of that, like, yes, please take him back. Yeah. Like, I, I feel horrible saying I would have taken him back, but <laughs> I, it, it was great. It was great. I loved it. No, I love the storylines. There were so many good storylines from top to bottom in the Big Leap, and I was just telling you before we got on camera that I don't really see a lot of dancing shows with good storylines and good backgrounds and just something that you can cry to and laugh to and really connect with different types of characters. There's so many characters that people can connect to in the in the show, and um, I thought that was very special about the show. Yeah, yeah, definitely love that. I think. Uh... I think with Reggie and Gabby, I I love how we got to see that Reggie was an actual person outside of being just a popular football player. I think that was my favorite uh, part about their particular storyline. And then just Monica's character development, how she went from being you know this hardball to no, I actually really do kind of like him, and I, I I'm just kind of scared to admit it, you know, because most people are very um, guarded with their feelings and I love how at some point she was ready to let that go all up until you know <laughs> it had to just she had to ignore it so yeah, you know. for sure oh my gosh so are you excited if there's possibly going to be a season two or? I would be very ecstatic for a season two I think that the show has so much potential and it's a it's a nice feel good show you know it's one of the things that i think the world kind of needs you know especially after going through something as horrible as COVID. you know i think that it just makes people feel good they get to laugh they get to cry you know um and and very briefly uh, it is talked about you know that kind of worry or scare in the show we, we call it a wizard um but you know that that is talked about. So I think that you know the fact that the show is so feel good and there's so much hope and so much light, with also some realness in there. You know, it's worth having around. You know, for sure. That would actually. I want to ask you if you could have like your real wizard for anybody that watched the show. Scares you? Like, what is your wizard? I'll say mine. If you say yours. Uh. <laughs> okay. I think. Um, I don't know. I think uh, very surface level, uh, my wizard will probably be not being able to dance. Um, I found a really nice outlet when I found dance. And I have my sister to thank for that. She introduced me. I mean, we've always danced as kids. Um, you know, we would learn music videos and make up stuff in the house. Uh, but she invited me to the dance team that she was on. She was like, come come to the rehearsal, you know, just sit there or you can learn something. Like, obviously you're really good. I think you would do great. And I went and we had our first performance together, which is actually our only performance together. And I just never stepped away from it. I grew to love it and it's just become a big part of me. So if I ever, lost the ability to dance i think that would be my biggest wizard okay well i'm going to share my wizard because you and your classes have kind of helped me uh battle my wizard which is kind of uh self-doubt and i know taking your classes have created a lot of self-confidence in me and um i've been able to just get over leaps and bounds and just really being able to be like, hey, like you can do this walk. Hey, like you can be sexy. You can be confident and that translates over to my life. So I do want to thank you for that. Cause you welcome. help with a lot of self-development with me. Thank you. I'm for glad sure. that I was able to. Yeah, of course, for sure. <laughs> like, and you said all this off camera, but I want to say it on camera too. Like 
I know you're a very humble person, <laughs> but you've given a lot to Chicago, in my opinion, like with your classes and your advice and just being so humble and gracious in what you do and just teaching what you know to the community, to the dance community, because Chicago's a small dance community, you know? So being able to have a mentor like you is inspiring and it's been a great experience. So yeah, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, the last thing I want to ask you while we're wrapping it up mm -hmm. is um, what advice would you give for other Chicago dancers that want to have the opportunity like you did to have the courage to go out and audition for shows like The Big Leap and just being able to stay active in the dance community? Oh man, uh, I think I would just say, uh, just just be true to yourself, true to yourself and true to your craft and always work on honing your craft and perfecting it. And then don't be afraid to venture out and do other things, you know? Uh, like I said, up until recently, um, I had not been trained in ballet. And after being a part of a ballet drama, I am now taking ballet classes because I actually want to learn it. And you know, it's a great foundation for dancers in general. Um, when it comes to acting, being that, you know, I got the opportunity to act when I wasn't looking for it. Um, just, just stay ready. Just stay ready so you don't have to get ready. If you want to be in entertainment, just kind of be ready in all fields. So when it comes to, I don't know, I'll say holding a camera, if by some odd chance they just want you to do that, you know, or, you know, just being being ready to dance in multiple styles because you never know what's going to be thrown at you. Um, and then, you know, if you decide that acting is a part of what you want to do, take some acting classes, you know. I mean, I, the most acting classes that I've had is memorizing movies as a kid or probably TV shows even now. Like, I can say a whole monologue from Grey's Anatomy if I wanted to or The Vampire Diaries because that's just how much I love those shows. And I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it's really just being true to yourself. Being true to yourself and being prepared on all areas so that you're ready for anything that's thrown at you. You know, I think, I say that I think I got lucky with uh, with Lagan just because being that particular character came so naturally to me. So it didn't, for me, it didn't take a lot of practice to be that character. Um, but even still with that, it wouldn't stop me from taking the acting class in case I had to go deeper or be a different kind of a person. You know? Oh my God, well thank you so much for coming out tonight and giving the lovely people this great interview. Where can everybody find you on your social media handles? You can find me on Instagram primarily, Torn Clifton underscore 94. Um, yeah, that's where you can find me. <laughs> awesome. Well thanks for watching guys and see you later. Bye.